What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Young Stone over third, aka Tequay Gaming, and I'm back with a new video today. This, as you may notice, it is possible that my vocal quality sounds a bit different than usual. Moved back home recently, and I misplaced a cord for my microphone, so I just got to use the built-in mic for my computer. It's possible it's better. It's possible it's worse. It's possible it doesn't sound. It's possible it sounds the exact same. If it's worse, my bad. It should only be these all the videos I'm recording today that will be like this. If it's better, then well, let me know, and I'm gonna do it more in the future. But with that being said, let's get into the video. So today. It's going to be a live war hit video, and I'm also going to include my planning process for the war, for the hits, because I haven't really done that before. So I feel like including my live planning process would help it be easier to see what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm going to be doing four hits today, two in this war, and then two in a war in my main account in another clan. So yeah, I flagged these two anti-three bases because I kind of wanted to hit them, but I haven't really looked at them in depth. So... Let's go into the planning process. So, when it comes to this base, with anti-threes, I don't really like to do my standard Sui Lalo that I would in Legends very much because often the pathing is a bit sketchy, might be a little weird getting the town hall, and a bunch of variety of bullshit. So, I'm thinking for this base, I can definitely get a great blizzard landing on this builder hut in the Archer Queen. The reason I would go for this blizzard is A, it lures the clan castle, which in my opinion is the single most important part of getting good blizzard value, and B, it creates a great funnel around this point, so I can kill this section of the base with a blizzard, use like an archer to pull shit over here, kill the clan castle with my queen, and then walk her up here. I can funnel and get her into the town hall, and honestly, since this expo and all this point defense other than the archer tower is going to be gone, I think it's very realistic that I could just get the town hall without using my kin. So I could do a split hero Sui, send my king to get this scatter shots, because there won't be much damage in there. And then I could probably use the royal champion over here, get the archer tower, do some damage to the eagle, and then back her up with the Lalo, although that's going to be some sketchy pathing just with the way the air defenses are and how this inferno is going to be exposed. But if I have quick reactions with my spell and my spells and warden ability, it should be a piece of cake. That's pretty much my planning process, honestly. I just get one little idea and then I figure out how to make it work in the base. So, let's build my army. I'm going to use a training potion because I'm not trying to wait. So, let's go three hounds and I don't have any super troops. So, let's change that. Do I need sneaky goblins for this base? Um, and no, I did not watch that replay in advance. I do every hit fresh pretty much. So yeah, sneaky goblins would be great because then I could funnel off this part. So let, let me just get two of those real quick. Two, let me boost them, get some loot. So let's go, two sneaky goblins, two super wall breakers because I'm doing a split hero Sui. One ice golem because my king won't need the, because... If we're looking at my plan, the king's job is just to get in here and then tank this expo. Since all this shit's going to be dead by the time he goes in there, he's not going to need any tanking whatsoever. And hell, he might even be able to get the royal champion if I use a freeze in the inferno, which I most likely will. Which is great value because then I could delay my warden, I could delay my warden ability even further just to focus on this area of defenses as opposed to targeting some headhunters. And so, yeah. Three hounds, probably send the first hound, probably send the Coco hound from here, go up there. Trigger enough traps for my blimp to make it to, I want to aim for like this Archer Queen pad or the Builder Slug, because I would get, I need this expo to go down. So get it deep, and I can get all that shit naturally. Just off of estimating, I think I only need four invisibility spells instead of five, if not only three. So I'm going to bring four so I can potentially use another one of my... Sui because this Barb King could get a little sketchy. So I'm going to bring an Ice Golem to do that. And then since I am probably going to need to kill the RC with Headhunter's assistance, I'm going to bring three instead of two. So now we got that. I'm going to add a Wizard to help just funnel my Sui a bit better. Let's get some cleanup going. Some minions. This attack might take a while so we can go heavy on cleanup. And then fill the rest up with loons. 
spells, and then get my clan castle going. I almost never request troops anymore because it's so much easier to just use clan capital medals for that. Bought that, and yeah, we are good. So I'll be right back. Alright y'all, we back, and it is time to do my first hit. I have just planned my second hit, and because training potions are awesome, and I can just get them for essentially ooh, free gold, for free just by either spending 100 capital medals when I get 1,000 a week, or just 25 gems, which I get just from this helpful thing. I can do war hits super easily, back to back, super easily. It's made it very, it made it very nice for players with a shit ton of accounts, such as myself, to be able to play this game better. Also, you may have noticed I have rebranded pretty much every account except for my main. I am no longer the Lord of the Ocean. That was a cool era, but it's over. So, as you can see, I low key am a cocky prick flexing my Lalo ability, but that's besides the point. So, first attack, we got my army set up. Let's do it. I don't know what's in this clan castle. Hopefully it's nothing too bad. Someone else is hitting. But let's do it. Got the army. And let's roll. In my opinion, Blizzard Lalo is probably the most fun army in the game to use when it goes well. That doesn't always go well, but so let's go. Hound, blimp, three loons to kill that. My angle for the blimp is not what I wanted. It's going to die here, but that's okay. Get my rage. Ooh, sweet. The queen steps out. And, yep, they've seen I'm hitting. My clanmates love watching me hit for some reason, but... Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. That didn't go very well. But we will we will adapt as, well, as I always do. So let's get this clan castle just killed. I'm going to drop... The, my queen's going to take damage, but it's okay since I got the unicorn. But I'm going to use that poison spell to get rid of the witch, who is taking way... Too fucking long to get in the radius. Move up, bitch. Like Jesus. Okay, so funnel now so I don't forget. Since that's available. Fam, there's no way she's going for that wizard. That's what I thought. Okay, so before I forget. So let the queen walk up there. I'm just going to get this wall break done so I don't forget. And time could get close. So let's put a bit of early cleanup in. An archer down there might have been better, but I'm a, nit I'm a nitpicker. Now this is going to be tough because that expo is still alive, and I am not exactly stoked about that. May hopefully it can lock onto my king, but the point is my queen is going to take damage. So I'm going to use a freeze here in the hope that I can just avoid fighting that king entirely. Sweet. So I can save the invis. Let's go RC there. Pop my king ability. Get some cleanup down because I can. And obviously this is not going great. Okay, it's not the end of the world at all, but let's get the Lalo going, go heavy on the loon to start. This is really not going well. So start, get the warden ability going. Okay, that's a good warden ability, so it's definitely not over. So we got cleanup going in, let's go with that. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to use my freeze to protect my RC because she is going to be very important to getting the rest of the... Ah, shit. Wizard Towers. Yep, this is a fail. Okay, so what did I do wrong? I kind of got fucked by the blizzard. Those super minions, super wizards did not do a good job staying in the invisibility, which sucks, but it is what it is. I'm going to look back at the replay to see if there was what, something I could have done better to prevent that from happening. But, obviously, this ain't going to work. Kind of disappointed about that, but it is what it is. Not really going to remember this for very long, so just got to bounce back. And ultimately, I think I did have a really good plan, so I can live with that. But this one is going to fall short. Pain. So... Let's see what, see what I could have done differently. I hit that one. Shanks is OP. AK sucks. So, okay. So I put my blizzard, my blimp down right a bit, right about here. And it went a bit further in this direction than I would have liked. That was just sloppiness on my part. Because I sort of didn't really predict the path that would have gone to the town hall correctly. So if I put it here, 
it would have passed right alongside because this way it would have gotten more value here which probably would have allowed my king to get more value such as the RC which in turn would have made for a smoother Lalo but it is what it is you win some you lose some so we're gonna be back we back and it's time to plan my second hit so I sh you probably have seen this already based on the video the way this video is going but the way I'm doing this is, in real time, I'm planning both my hits at the same time, just in two separate parts that are takes that are being filmed. So it's going to go plan one, hit one, plan two, hit two, etc. in the case of the video. But in recording time, it's plan one, plan two, plan three, plan four. Hence why you have already seen whatever my result on this space has wound up being in the video, yet it's not shown here because I haven't hit it yet. But let's look at the second base also an anti-3 and okay this looks like it's going to be a bit harder of a plan I could probably do a blizzard lalo again because realistically I can land a blizzard in between here get the town hall single CC lure set a funnel send heroes here maybe RC sneaks in gets that or just some wizard ass funneling start lalo with the eagle I mean realistically that could work but I'm not sure how reliable it would be that I could get something to path to this multi-inferno. So, while well, maybe I will go with that plan, let's look at other options. Hmm. I could definitely sui the town hall without triggering the CC. Which would mean I could probably send some shit up here to clear this section. But would that be worth it for the Lalo? Because I could use a stone slammer for this wizard tower, which would then path to the inferno, builder hut, I would anticipate these would be dead, and then hopefully go to the inferno, but this sweeper would be a bitch, so I'd have to sacrifice two lightning spells to take care of it. So, that's an idea, but that is a lot of spells invested, so, hmm... So now, since I don't really see an obvious plan sticking out straight away, we're going to go into part B of my process, which is going to be, I look at my I look at other combos other than just Sui Lalo or Blizzard Lalo. I always look at those two combos specifically when I first look at a base, because they're by far my best combos. Say that if I was rating myself as a Clash player, like 2K style, let's say my Sui Lalo would be like a 97 or 98 overall, Blizz Lalo would be a 95 or 96 overall. The other two combos I use, Queen Walk Lalo would maybe be like an 89 overall. Sui Mass Hogs, which is rare, would be like a 94 overall. And then everything else would be below 85. If you play 2K, you'll know what those numbers mean. If you don't, that probably doesn't mean anything to you. But what I'm trying to say is I am terrible with every combo except Blizzard Lalo, Sui Lalo, Sui Mass Hogs, and Queen Walk Lalo. And even then, Queen Walk Lalo is sketchy. But I do kind of see something that could potentially work for Queen Walk Lalo. Because I've noticed that... Ah, shit. Hmm. There is definitely a place where I could realistically do a triple hero kill squad with the Ground Warden, send a Log Launcher straight through here, and I get these Inferno Towers. This one I could get for sure, and hell, I might not even need the Log Launcher to get that, because... Realistically, if I were to start my queen somewhere up here, she'd go into this compartment because I'd use a yeti to funnel down here, and then I would want her to jump into here. But at the same time, I'd be worried about these defenses potentially pulling her away, and while sure I could have an invis, I am pretty pretty bad at queen walk pathing, so it would probably wind up getting burnt just to get my queen into the first compartments. Queen, queen walks are not my specialty. But, I do notice that there is not really anything in this area that can target a Flame Flinger. So, I could realistically set a Flame Flinger in this corner, cannon, get all that, the scatter would go down, hopefully this section too, but that's not super important. But the reason why I mentioned the Flame Flinger is that it could set up a way for me to potentially hog this base. Um... Because this pathing would be Gucci. I don't know if this Inferno Tower would get got. 
but I would use an, if I were to do a hog hit, I would use my RC with the hogs, and I would start the hogs from this angle, because that's where the eagle is, and you have to kill the eagle early with hogs. So it's very likely, especially if she gets locked in this king, which will happen, she could definitely wind up picking off that inferno at some point. This inferno would get paps not, you know what, yeah. I think hogs are 100% the way to go in this base, because I use a flame flinger up here, do a little bit of funneling, as defenses begin to die, and I could put my king here, go up here, cut that off, he'll walk in here, I'd use my queen to push him straight towards the town hall. Yes, this clan castle would be sketchy, yes, this inferno tower would also be sketchy, but I have options for dealing with them. I could A, do a skeleton donut, which honestly might be the easiest option, so I'm probably going to do that. Because, but if I were to do a skeleton donut and kill this clan castle and this single inferno, then there is literally nothing to stop my king from getting to the town hall. Because my initial thought process was, if I was using the king through there with these up, I would burn a poison and a freeze as soon as the clan castle came out and was here, and probably would need a second poison at some point, which obviously by that point it's not super efficient. So, yes. Skeleton donut is the way. So flame flinger up there, kill the scatter. And then I don't need a rage with this hog attack because there's not really a hellish compartment I need to get through. Getting through here would suck, but I would try to time my warden. Since the eagle is close enough, I would try to time my warden ability right as the hogs are passing it already. So they could hopefully make it to this inferno and wizard tower before I need to pop a heal. And then I could freeze this shit let the headhunters in RC do their thing, and then kill shit. So you know what? That is exactly the plan I'm going to go with. So let's build my army. Get the warden on ground. So... I don't think I even need an ice golem, to be honest. So let's go giants, wizard, the giant would tank the flame flinger. Do I need to kill off any defenses to ensure the flinger survives? No, because I feel like the splash damage from when it hits this wizard tower would kill off this mortar. And by that point, I don't really need the flame flinger anymore. <clears throat> so yeah, let's go with a wizard. A sneaky goblin. And literally just five headhunters, because we're going to need a lot. Honestly, six might be the move. Our fearless leader is attacking. Depending on how he does, he might get put in another video. If he does terrible, he's probably going to get put in. But Because, yeah, this queen is going to take some damage just naturally from the flame flinger. But it's not going to kill her. So I think it's best if I try and kill both of these heroes at the same time with the headhunters for my warden ability. And use a second group of headhunters to kill this RC once that shit's tanked. And because I am using so little troops in the Sui, I can definitely afford to bring six headhunters. That's fucking wild. Let's bring a lot of wizards for cleanup. Honestly, I don't think I need any tanking at all. And then let's just fill this motherfucker with hogs. Jesus Christ, 44, that's nuts. So we're gonna go two of that. Oh, just one of that. Four invisibilities for the donut. And one freeze. Um... Actually, no. Let's go with the skeleton here. And then since I still got my blizzard army here, you can't see it yet. But I'm going to fill it with the flame flinger, nine hogs, and two freezes, and a bat spell for that inferno tower. So, yes, sir. We go, oh, that would be bad. We're going to get back to that when that hit comes. I'll see you all in a bit. I don't got to say it because you know it's true. But... This is about one minute after my first hit, and I'm currently in pain, crying, and throwing up because it did not go very well, but sometimes it's how it is. So, but because training potions are awesome, it is time to do my second hit. So I gotta get my CC and shit ready. Fill them up with them nice hog riders. Get me two freezes in the bat as I plan, and the flame flinger. Get my warden on ground, and let's look at the base again. So this is a much easier plan than the first one, because hogs are just, if you can set up the right pathing, they're way easier to use than Lalo. 
The one problem with this plan is I have to land a skeleton donut, which is very, very precise. I have to get the invisibility spell dropped just right, and there is a certain like spell radius or shit that you can use to plan it, but I... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to ditch the bat spell. I'm going to switch it for a skeleton spell instead. Now the reason I was planning on using a bat spell was because bat spells do a lot more damage to defensive structures than a skeleton spell would, and you don't have to worry about getting them right with walls, and they don't target enemy heroes, because this Archer Queen's right there, and, I've, and it's pretty likely that one or two skeletons or some shit will get out of the invisibility and trigger her. But why am I not using bats? Bats get out of this invisibility even more than skeletons do, and while one bat getting targeted by an enemy hero will not fuck over your, their targeting, this is a particularly dangerous area to fuck up the bats because there's a sweeper right here. And all it takes is just one bat being visible. The sweeper will send them all across the entire area and potentially shoot, hit all of them, including the invisibility ones, and potentially put them in range of this wizard tower, which, likewise, if one bat is visible, the wizard tower could just kill them all if the splash damage is enough. So I'm going to go with a second skeleton spell just to try and nail the precision a bit more. As long as this Inferno Tower is visible, all I gotta do is just drop it right there. And I am playing on a phone, so that's kind of sketch. But, either way, got my army. If I fail, it's probably gonna be in the first 10 seconds, so let's do it. Alright, this is nerve-wracking, but I'm just gonna just try and visualize where I want to drop it real quick. I don't really count tiles, but... You see where sort of like the top of the mortar is in the middle? I'm going to try to drop it right there, because I know that'll get the clan castle visible, and I need to favor it upwards to get the inferno hit too. But I want to do the flame flinger first, because that's the part of the attack that's ultimately going to take the most time. So use a giant to test for skeleton traps. This flame flinger is about to get nerfed, by the way. This video is probably coming out after the update, but the hits are being done pre-update. Alright, flame flinger is good. Let's put like a wizard... And now let's get the donuts. Pray for me. There we go. Not going to be a lot of commentary in this part because it's precise. One more. Boom, bitch. That's what I like to see. So that flame flinger is cool. So now let's do king, queen. Oh, shit. I'm worried about them going the wrong way because I need the king to go in the town hall. Perfect. Let's get that there now. So the Sui went completely to plan. Is there anywhere I can just get value with the minion? Up there. Get some good cleanup, save some time. Perfect. That bomb tower is going to go down. Bombs are a bitch for hogs because hogs are weak as hell and they do splash damage. And this flinger is doing some nice damage to the... Okay, that got close. To the archer queen. I'm going to let it shoot this wizard tower first before I do anything because hogs go through the base really quickly. I'm going to favor the RC to target that area first and I'm also going to, okay, it's time to just pop this. Boom. Let's go hogs. Warden ability. Boom. Archer queen's dead. So that's good. Okay, so this is some awkward pathing, just to start. So we're going to go there, and now would be a good time to send in my other shits. As long as the hogs make it far, the RC can finish it. So we got to keep the hogs alive, which means keep this scatter shot frozen, and yeah, this is crushed. Hogs are like the secret weapon of this game, bro. They're so good. They just don't work on many bases. But they are fucking overpowered. Yeah, this is demolished. We're good. Hell, I'm not... Yeah, oftentimes with hog attacks, whether it's a... Unless it's a hybrid, whether it's a queen walk hog or a suey hog hit like this, your hogs are not going to make it through the entire attack. They do not have a ton of hit points, and once... Especially once the warden ability wears off, they start dying quickly. But as long as you keep your royal champion alive and well, she will crush it. So that's a triple... You love to see it. 
and we're gonna be back with my shit in the other clan. You're we back, and we on my main account, which is I mentioned account rebranding earlier. That's never fucking happening with this one. So for this account, I picked an ant an anti three and a diamond base, and we're gonna look at the diamond base first. This is a very similar base to a base I hit a lot in last CWL and had a very similar plan to what I'm thinking is best here. Blizzard somewhere in here, Sui the Town Hall with just the Queen, walk my King up here, use my RC to get something in here, and start the Lalo from here, and it's easy. I think my King would be able to get that enemy king, which would be even better, but let's think about what would be an obstacle to that type of plan. First of all, which compartment would I want to land the blizzard in? Would it, I want to land on the air defense or by the scatter shots? I feel like the scatter shot would be better because I could get some of this value done as well, but the problem with that is I wouldn't really have a good place to lure and kill the clan castle. The counter to that is that I might just kill the clan castle straight up with the blizzard, which would be great. But as from the angle I would want it to go for, hmm, I would want to land on the archer queen pad. She would die to the splash damage I know from experience. Also, that would not activate the town hall, which is good. Um, but if I were to send a hound from that angle, it would go to this air defense. Unless I send the hound, I follow it with the blimp, and like a couple loons. And then I make this air defense invisible. When the hound gets to like here, it'll redirect and go here, keeping my blimp protected. And the hound, theoretically, would survive long enough. If not, I could just pop a freeze. I'd preferably not do that, but... Yeah, landed in there, no traps, kill everything. Yeah, the Hound would definitely survive, because the air defense would get like two shots off of it first. The Hound would probably die right as it gets to this air defense, and then the lava puffs would explode. That would distract another two defense, another like one or two seconds, which would allow the blimp to travel that much further and get there. So yeah, that definitely seems like the move. So... The next question is, how do I funnel the Sui? I would hope it's not a hound in the clan castle. I do not know, I do not watch replays before hitting unless the war is super close. So I don't know shit about this base, despite there being a replay. But I think I would just honestly just YOLO it. See the value as I get it. These would probably survive, so I'd probably need a baby dragon, followed by my queen right here, just for maximum funneling. Put like a wizard here, a baby, another baby dragon up here, followed by my king. And then I'd probably have to play my RC by ear. Because the, the shape of the Lalo is really easy, especially if the king gets that like I want. But yeah, Blizzard Lalo is 100% the move, because I can just use loons to funnel. Probably another invis. I'm going to bring five invisibilities instead of four because I'm going to use one on the air defense to get my hound there. Also going to lure the clan castle and set the funnel. Two things I always stress. Get super wall breakers ready. I'm going to bring... Can I get away with just two? Because I need two for my queen. But if I funnel well enough, I could just use the fucking yak and my king to get him up. Yeah, I don't need a baby dragon. I could just activate Sneaky Goblins, Wizard there, he gets that, the King would get that, go on his own. He's not that important to the raid, so I wouldn't need an Ice Golem for him, but I would for the Queen, because she's getting through a lot of damage. So let's activate the Super Troop, collect my loot, two, that, that, um, get some cleanup, because this is probably going to be a relatively long Sui. So we're going to want to have a lot of cleanup. And holy Jesus, three hounds with 190? Fam. Okay. Let's 
get rid of you, get rid of two of you, and get rid of, not get rid of you. So then it'd be a 170 base hound, so I'd still have 26 balloons. That's a good number. Five that, five that. We got that. Is my training potion activated? It is now. So yeah, I'm going to see y'all in a bit. Hit number three, Blizzard Lalo number two. Base number one getting hit. I don't think I need to say anything else. If my Wi-Fi works. Man, if I get disconnected while recording the video, that'd be hilarious in a way that would make me want to cry. But going off of the mistake I made in the first time I tried Blizz Lalo today, I'm going to be a lot more precise with my blimp. Because obviously the blimp travels whatever the most direct line from its placement to the town hall is. And I'm not going to lie, I'm often pretty lazy with getting the exact blimp placement right. So, in order to make sure that doesn't happen this time, I'm going to place this blimp right at the top of this barracks. It should go through here. Well, you can't really see where my finger's moving, but if you visualize it, you'll see where it's going. And another benefit of using the invisibility on the air defense is that the hound will travel through here and pick up any seeking air mines that the blimp would hit. I don't think I said I was going to use anything on those. I honestly don't remember. But it's, yeah. It's going to be Wizard there, Sneaky there, King there. I'm fucking tired. Let's get this triple. Okay. So we are live. This is my first war hit in this clan, by the way. Next level is a strong, I want to say, US-based clan affiliated with Golden X. We wore them in Supreme Cleave, another one of my good clans, like, about a week ago. And this is my debut for them, so no pressure, right? Alright, let's get this going. Boom. And then let's go here. Hound, don't take too long. Perfect. Fucking perfect. So now you're going to go there. Ooh, barely. There's an ice hound. There's an ice golem in the CC. Interesting. Ah, oh, fuck. The town all got activated. So I want that archer queen dead. So I'm going to use. I'm going to burn the last invis. And the hound got popped too. That's fucking perfect. So we're gonna get this funnel down now. There's literally just one thing left. That's awesome. So wall break. Sneaky that just to make sure it goes down. We're doing okay on time. And I'm going to use the Archer Queen first just to get a little bit of extra life in this Ice Golem because she can handle her own for one thing. So let's go there. Oh, fuck me. Okay, I'm going to have to use an Invis. I don't have an Invis. No. <sighs> fuck. This is going to be sketchy. I'm going to have to use all my freeze... Get fucking die, you cunt. I'm going to have to use all my free spells on the Sui, man. Get you in there now for time reasons. Burn that again. Please go in. Thank you. It's okay. We're still good. I don't care how it looks. We are still in a good position. Is there a lot of time? No. Do I have a lot of loons? Absolutely not. But we are still in a great position, regardless of what it might seem. Get my cleanup going. Okay, I burn all my loons pretty early, but as you can see, my RC is going to be going at a different plane than everything else. And that lassie is doing a great job tanking. So, I'm going to get ready to ward it. Oh shit, everything's dead? What happened to the enemy RC? I mean, I ain't complaining, but... Uh, oh fuck, that's a bad warden. So we're going to use some clutch tanking. And okay, I think we're good. The RC, it might get close at the end, but the RC should theoretically tank the expo long enough for my balloons to get there and fuck it up. And oh shit, okay. Time might be a problem. I didn't even see that mortar. We're good for cleanup up there. It should hopefully wrap around there, but oh shit, yeah. I hope that mortar doesn't have a lot of hit health left. Otherwise... Please go up. Woo! No! Oh, bro, you can't be serious. No, bro. Why? 
time fill tag or I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. Uh, that was a, that was a risk worth running. Pain. You know what time it is, so we don't. I don't even gotta say what we're doing because we hidden this base. This base is shaped really weird. Doesn't seem like it can decide if it wants to be a box base or a anti three base. Well, it's definitely an anti three, but. Insert political jokes about that here. But what I what could I do? So what is the what are the key threats in this space? Oh, I got a crazy plan already. So <laughs> hear me out. I don't see any good. I was just thinking of blimp spots. I don't really see any good blizzard value, but I see a hell of a lot of other value. So I was thinking I could yeti bomb, maybe even with a clone. Get the enemy AQ and all that shit around here. Clear out this entire fucking compartment and get the clan castle lured. Drag it over here. Kill it with my archer queen. Very similar to a blizzard. And I could walk her over here. Wall break her in here. She'll kill the town hall. Probably going to want an ice golem to tank for her. Or the BK because I'm going to want the BK in here. Get all that. Right? Now here's the cool part. If you get all that, let's take a look at the base. This shit is gone. This shit is gone. This shit is gone. These expos are st in the Inferno Tower are still alive. I could sneak my royal champion right in the middle of that bitch, kill all that, and I could start a Lalo here to work simultaneously. Because that Lalo would be a very easy Lalo because, um, well, there's not a lot of the base left. I wouldn't. <laughs> I love that plan. Let's do it. Now, the, que the only question is, do I want to use a, because I'm going to use a cloned Yeti bomb with one tiny filler troop, two Yetis, and an eight space troop. I'm not using a Valkyrie, because that shit never dies in time for the clone spell to be worth it. Do I use a super wall breaker or a rocket loon? I think a super wall breaker is the move, because it's possible this Archer Queen doesn't really jump the wall, and that'd be bad. But the super wall breaker would make sure that's not a problem. So... That might be the move. And the other question is, do I need a Lava Hound to tank for this blimp? If I were to send it from this angle, the Lava Hound would go straight through here, pull the Archer Queen out to here. I could then clone the Yeti Bomb. She would still be out there fighting the Yetis now. Clone the Yetis over to her, get that CC, maybe even sneak in a Headhunter. Hmm, yeah, that hound feels worth it 100%. Because then I could just use two sneaky, literally just three sneakies of the full. Two sneakies and a baby dragon. Yeah. So let's go two sneakies, two wall breakers, a baby dragon. Three, three. Um. Get clean up. We're going to need to kill a CC, so let's go to a U. Do I want an Ice Golem? I don't think I do. But I will take a Giant, two Giants, because I feel like that would be beneficial. Since I'm going to, let's do two more of that. So, my thinking is, I'm going to bring a clone in the CC. I need one Rage, three of each of these. Do I need a Skeleton Spell for anything, realistically speaking? I'm not going to lie, a skeleton spell in here just to get the king to kill, to get out there and fight my king instead of my queen would go kind of hard. Because then I could just back up with the other spell, use my RC to just go straight in. So yeah, let's bring, because I'm not going to need a skeleton spell for the RC. Let's go one skelly, one invis, and I got one more, well, I need a poison, so that's that, <laughs> plus the clone and the CC. Normally I bring two poisons with the Lalo, unless it's a blizzard Lalo, and I'm thinking I'm only going to need one because it's possible something dies in there, but if it's headhunters and super, or super minions, the super minions just going to blow all their fucking long range shots on the yetis, and if it's headhunters and a hound, I can drag it out here and do some shenanigans with the archers to tactfully let my queen snipe her first. If that's the case that happens, then well you'll see what I mean by that, but if not, you probably won't. So with that being said, that's the plan, and we go see the hit in a bit. 
All right, we're back after drinking a bunch of liquor in pain for that last hit. We are going to do my last, my fourth and final hit of today. But first of all, I want to highlight what made me actually feel because I sort of didn't, I made, I didn't really speak on this during that section of the video. So the plan went really well through here. Obviously, the town hall kill did not go very well. But I correctly assumed that because there were no multi infernos, I would be safe using all my freezes for that. That was not the issue. Did I use more balloons than I would have liked for that? Also, yes, because the builder huts are crazy. Here's the problem. I just sort of YOLO'd my RC without thinking, and I didn't put cleanup down here. Except for that archer, which, as you can see, that archer don't handle mortars very well. If I put like one minion here, that probably would have, or even just a balloon, that pro and a minion, that probably would have been enough. So to wrap that up, the planning process went well. I just sort of got, I just had an execution error, which it happens. Sort of, you're going to want to make sure you don't do shit like that in your hit, because if I just had that mortar down, I would have definitely had the time to kill all that. But you live and you learn, you don't win them all. So I got to bounce back and move to my la move to my last hit. So I decided the super wall breaker is just the safest way to go, because archer. As much as I talked about earlier about my archer queen being able to go out here, it is definitely safest to have that as an option. So I mean, this plan is pretty simple. I already explained it. Let's get this going with. Do I need those balloons? Or honestly, I hope this doesn't come back to bite me. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the giants for more balloons. Because looking at it, if my king really is taking all this, what the hell am I gonna need the giants for? Exactly. So let's do it. <sighs> I haven't done a cloned yeti bomb in a minute. I'm not even gonna lie. So got to be careful with the blimp angle, make sure it lands here, so I'm going to place the blimp on this mortar. So let's go here, boom, boom, boom. For a second, I had no clue where the fucking blimp was. And we got a hound head under CC, which I predicted. So I'm going to wait for the wall breaker to explode, and then boom, clone, and please go for the fucking queen. Okay, good. I almost burnt a free spell, but I'm very glad that I didn't. So let's get that going. Get these funnel. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's going to be fun. Can I hopefully get that down at least? Oh, this is going to take so much time. Okay. So, thinking. Get that there so I can just see what that's looking like. Now I can get that down. I'm just going to get you set up early. And then I'm going to just get this down now. And okay, so I can already see I'm not going to get even close to the value that I wanted. I'm just going to hope I can get this multi and make sure the king dies so I can get the multi. Realistically, though, we are not in a bad position because I can use my RC to help get him. Honestly, okay. Or the expo. I got my spells at the ready. If it's going to get close, which it will. So be precise like a motherfucker. And get another thing. Get more cleanup down. All I need is three shots in that multi. Boom. Okay. Let's get some of that shit going. And I'm sort of expecting that to all die, so let's go with the Warden. I'm going to freeze you. I got one freeze left. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> fucking raped. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this cannon down now so I don't know the same thing happened that happened last raid, I hope. I hope. 
Okay, good. I hope... Oh, shit. Okay. Best case scenario, that hound takes a black bomb, because we might be in trouble if it doesn't. What did I say? We might still be in trouble. We are probably in trouble. Fuck, I really needed something to go to that DE drill. Bro, can you be... Fuck off, man. This is disgusting. Fam. Man. Well, thanks for watching the video. One for four is not very good. I don't care if there are time fails. I don't care if there are crush. That is not very good. But hope you're able to learn something from this video. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.